Hi! As we go into the world of ecology, I think that it's going to be really important for us to discuss a really important topic, and this is going to appear quite a bit in our ecology unit. That is the concept of habitat versus something that is called a niche. Now, your habitat is just kind of the place where you live. It's a location. It's very specific to you. So, for example, your habitat might be your bedroom, or it might be a room that you share with other people, or in some instances, it could even be a classroom if you spend a lot of time there. Now, on the other hand, a niche is your role in the habitat. So, for example, a niche would be something like maybe a chore that you do at home. It's something that you contribute to your habitat. So, for example, like doing the dishes, or maybe you buy the groceries, or maybe you take your siblings to school. That is an example of a niche because that is your role within your habitat. Remember the habitat is just the location but the niche rather, well that's your role in the environment. So let's think about this as we take a look into my world and differentiate between my niche and my habitat. Hmm, I wonder what they could be. This right here is room 141. This is my habitat. This is where I reside and do all of the things that normal teachers would do. This is my chalkboard. This is my periodic table of elements. This is my tie. These are my desks. This is my habitat. It's where I live and reside. You know, I don't technically live here, although sometimes it feels like I do. Part of my niche at the high school is to teach chemistry and biology. So I have a pretty cool niche here. I'm one of the few teachers that actually gets a chance to teach both of them. So that's what makes my niche special. Part of my niche is playing hockey. One other thing about my niche that's something I'm a little bit embarrassed about. I tend to rant about things that really don't matter much about anything in life. I just want to know who invented the crouton. Honestly, that is the most insane idea ever. Hey, we've got some dried old bread that's not moldy. What should I do with it? Should I throw it away? No. Hey, how about we put it on a salad? Oh my gosh, what an amazing idea. And who came up with the concept of crouton anyways? I mean, did they have like some conference about it? Some big meeting? Hey, we got some dried crusty bread here that we want to put on a salad. Well, what are we going to call it? Well, it's old and it's bread. Let's call it bold. We can't call it bold. That's a laundry detergent. Well, what do you suppose we call it? Well, let's call it croutons, because that's the sound it makes when you eat it. Crouton, crouton, crouton. Hmm, what a brilliant idea. Let's take a vote. All those in favor of croutons say aye. Aye. Croutons it is. Well, in case you haven't noticed, I'm a pretty unique individual, but I think it's pretty easy to see the difference between your habitat, the specific location in where you live, and your niche the role in your habitat. Hockey is a niche of mine. Not very many people do that at the high school. Ranting about random things, that's my niche. That's just something that I do. All right, but your habitat, again, that's the location in which you live. For example, this classroom is a part of my habitat. So, that's all I got. Any questions, let me know.